show, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the Rising Spivey Show. I am your host, Chanel Spivey. Thank you so much for tuning in. Real quick, I just want to continue to ask you all to send your feedback. Let me know what you think of the show, if you have any ideas, any topics you want to discuss, or any uh, questions you have to ask, or guests that you would like to see on. Please feel free to email us at believe at risingspivey.com. And if you go to the website, you can see uh, the library of the show. All of our past shows are on there, and more information about the show is there. So please be my guest. Come into my world. Experience more Rising Spivey on Twitter, on Facebook, and everything. Follow me. Come meet me. Love me. Know me because I love you, too. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'm in such a great mood right now. It might be my curls. I like how my hairstylist did my hair <laughs> today. I'm just feeling great, and the show is about being positive, so I'm in a positive mood. We're going to talk about being positive in a not-so-positive environment. We're in a world where that is fueled by negativity. We love to see bad things for some reason. It's on the news. We like our reality, reality TV bad. We like our tabloids bad. We like our songs dirty. We like our movies dirty. This is the world we live in. I want to talk about how to be positive in that world. It's the only way to be. I have Mr. Matthew Seahorn, an author. He's going to join us. He's a motivational speaker. He's on his third book. You're really going to enjoy what he has to say. Every time I hear him speak, I am very much inspired. And Brian Hampton is going to give us something different this time. Stay tuned. You are in for a treat. Welcome to my show. Ryan and I are going to talk about uh, some of the instances where this is a negative world and you would have to practice positivity to remain positive. Uh, one thing we were just discussing was the internet. Now people just love to be negative and hateful and hurtful. It's like the meanest thing you can say is the best thing when you're on the internet. Exactly, especially when you're coming at the the bigger stars, they always, you know, have to take it with a grain of salt. You kind of have to look at that and, you know, take that in life too because um, it's always going to have somebody to say something about you, whether if you're talking about um, yourself, if you talk too much, they're saying, why are you talking all the time? If you're too quiet, they're going to say, hey, they stuck up. Why did that person don't, you know, say talk anything. to you? It's always something. It'll always be something. So the best thing you can do is just, you know, ignore it. Uh, be yourself. Um, Kanye said in an interview when they asked him a while back about the Cameron disc from Runaway, and he was like, you know, I didn't even listen to it because I, I just don't, you know, listen to um, things about me. I don't take that in. I don't take in the negative energy. But, um, and I was just like, that's, that's a good way to look at it. You have a lot of time when people, most of the time when people are saying something negative about you, it's just to get some attention their way, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you respond, you give into it. And why are you wasting then your time and energy where you could be moving forward? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like holding you back. Now you're helping this person out. I promised myself that I would never address this, but just for the sake of the topic and keeping it real, I've received emails about the show that were negative. Mm -hmm. And my thing would be, if you don't like my show, change the channel. There's so mm -hmm. many other things to watch, but not only do you not like my show, you go and get online and you Google Chanel Spivey or Rising Spivey, and you sit there and type something mean or hurtful with the intention on, you know, hurting my feelings, which, by the way, you could not do on the, <laughs> from right. the computer. <laughs> right. It, but it's just like, why do people like that? Why? What are you? What is? What you're lacking something in yourself absolutely. if you have to go through such, you know, trouble to try to right. hurt somebody else? And why do you have that much time in your day? Too where much you, time. you know what I'm going to do? Oh, she gonna have a show. She gonna have a show, right? <laughs> But because it the the internet gangsters now we have all the, the the Twitter thugs or everybody on Facebook <laughs> you know it's just like you're behind a computer and everybody's their own star right so you see people on these social networks that never were outspoken or anything like that but it's just and like now you got all the mouth. yeah they're the whole uh, a whole nother person it's like where did this, where did this <laughs> who person are you come? I know right. you right you I never remember, talk. didn't you not say anything in class <laughs> were you like the, it's like where did this come from but oh okay now you, you get this behind that screen and you get some you grow some 
So, so, some, um, yes, yes, some confidence. <laughs> confidence. <laughs> right. And now you, you just say these things that you would never, ever dare say to my face. Right. Or to anybody else's right. face. It's like the internet gives everybody the space to be an extreme critic. Of course, everyone has their opinion on things. I don't like every music artist set out or, you know, every person doesn't rub me the right way, but I'm not going to waste time. That's them. You know, of course, we're all, we're all humans. We all have different likes and dislikes. But I'm not going to put somebody else down. Why? I mean, that's that's who they are. I mean, you know. And everything isn't for everyone. You know, exactly. I, I always get it because, you know, I'm a big Nicki Minaj fan, despite some people's feelings about her. No. I think she <laughs> is hot. I think she is on, doing her thing. It's wild and it's different, but that's what it's about to me. Yeah. Um, and she's doing her thing. And it's like some, so many people have such harsh things to say about her, but at the end of the day, you could change the station. Exactly. You could watch another channel. If you don't like her, you know, move on. Me, I think she can personally rap, and that's when it comes to rapping, that's what she can do. Her content, different things like that, uh, you know, that goes up and down, but as, as far as rapping, you know, she's where she's at because that's what mm -hmm. she can do. And it's a lot of people, when she just came out with a video, and I just watched all these comments, and people were like, oh, I hate you know, how she did that, or look at this about her, look at the nails, look at the head, you know what I'm saying? She finally did, and it's like, <laughs> and I'm thinking, do you think Nicki Minaj cares? <laughs> and then you have certain people who like, you know, who say they have haters and-, and Don't nobody really, know you. Right, you don't <laughs> really don't. No I hate haters, right? you, <laughs> no one doesn't say, so I don't even like addressing, like, you yeah. know. That's why I said, this was, that, that, was the, that was the first and last time I'm gonna publicly acknowledge mm -hmm. whomever is sending me these emails. And I don't know what you're doing with your life, but mm -hmm. you can continue to watch me, baby, because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's, sometimes it's like, as human beings, your natural instinct is just to come back. Somebody comes at you, that's your natural instinct mm -hmm. to come back at them. It's so hard to be like, all right, it really doesn't matter. Like mm -hmm. um, Jay-Z had did Reminder, that song, and I love that song, because it's like, what, how are y'all people even talking about me? Like, <laughs> that's what he's saying. Like, I've done this this consistently for this many years. How could you even make a diss record against me? Like, I've, I've helped you. How do you even have, basically, one of the lines in there is like, how do you even, you don't even have enough hit records to even, you know, have a conversation with me, let alone <laughs> to, you know, make battle against me. But, you know, then he took, he's like, I wish that I was going to take that off the record. I love the song, but it's like a conflicting thing mm -hmm. I put up today. You want to just naturally come back, but it's, mm -hmm. he's like, you know, why? I received, I received, first of all, way more positive mm -hmm. um, right. feedback than negative. Anyway, um, Beyonce said there are 10,000 people who don't like me, but 10 times more who love me and I love mm -hmm. myself. Well, I received, I, I, I get these emails, and it's like, does this person understand that they're letting me know that they're watching me? I mean, right. you, I don't even know you, and you're watching exactly. me. I'm no star. I mean, not, <laughs> not yet. But, <laughs> but you're watching me, that, and then you take the time to comment. It's like you, if anything, you, what you're building in your head lets me know I must be doing something. All right. And you it, know what I mean? And I'm not going to stop by the way <laughs> <laughs> and it I, you know it, it definitely is just like once again it goes back to what are you doing with your life where you want to you know what do you have going on with you because there's something inside that's that's just like you know um holding you back where you have to talk about somebody else to make you feel better certain mm -hmm. insecurity going on and like you know you said it's just best to not even you know give that any or pay attention to that mm -hmm. at all because at the end of the day, like you said with Beyonce, and I can go with that too, it's so much more people who have stopped me and said, you know what, I can see this lady at work was just like, you know, I can see, you know, something special about it. She doesn't know me from a can of paint, but, you know, <laughs> I've, I've heard that a lot from different people. Mm -hmm. So if I take that, and then for the couple of people who don't like it, I mean, if you compare the positive to the negative, mm -hmm. it's, you know, out surpasses it. And we're going to leave it with that, ladies and gentlemen. Continue to send all of your flattering messages to The <laughs> Rising Spivey Show. We love to get them. Stay tuned. I want to change the world, but first I have to start with me. Waking up at the crack of dawn to do a job that I barely care about cannot be life. I have so much more to give to the world, so much more to share. This is my story. I Rise, the wild and free mind of a Gemini. Written and produced by yours truly, Miss Chanel Spidey.